Welcome to Chad Hates Carbs. Today we're going to be doing a zucchini bake. Uh, pretty simple, um, not a lot of stuff involved, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, we've got a pot boiling right now. We've got uh, two medium zucchini uh, chopped into little bits. I didn't go any smaller than this because it says quartered and chopped, so I'm going to just go ahead and leave some big ones and we'll see how it turns out. Maybe next time we'll go smaller, but for now we'll just do this. We want this water boiling before we put the zucchini in. It's got a little bit of salt in it, not a ton. I don't know, maybe I don't know, maybe a quarter teaspoon. But uh, we'll let that go. I'm gonna let this cook for about four minutes, is what it says. So we'll go four minutes. And while that's going, we've got the oven at 350. Um, it's already preheated, so we're good to go there. We've got an eight-inch uh, pie pan greased up. We've got some. Uh, olive oil in there and then the other stuff we've got to do is we've got a three eggs and we're going to put a quarter cup of cream in there and go ahead and whip that up get out a spatula here those of you that follow this channel know I like to get every little bit out of my containers so all right I'm gonna get that out of there get this heating up Now what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and put in, we've got, uh, looks like, um, this is a quarter of an onion, um, quarter cup of chopped onion. I go, I'm going to go a little heavier on the onion because I, I like onion. Um, this is probably, I don't know, maybe as much as half a cup of onion, but onion's good. Uh, if you're super, super tight watching your, your carbs, you want to be careful with onion though because onion can have does have more carbs than you would think so if you're in induction early on in your in your process you might want to keep your onions down all right so that's the onion and then we've got uh, salt and pepper quarter teaspoon of each I'm gonna put that in there mix that in and then we've got uh, cheese we've got shredded cheddar um, as well as the, um, uh, we got some Parmesan as well, quarter cup of Parm. So we're going to go ahead and put half the cheddar into this. The rest of it will be used as the topping bit. That looks about right. Get this stuff mixed in. So now we've just got another couple minutes to wait on this to finish cooking, and uh, we'll be back then. Okay, so our two minutes is up. We're going to go ahead and drain this. And uh, we want that sit. What we're going to do next is the is the fun part because it's really hot. <laughs> Whenever it says drain well, I never know what drain well means. Does it mean let it sit for an hour? So I'm a little, I'm a little unsure about this bit. But uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, not wait forever. It just says drain well in a colander. So I'm going to assume I just shake it out and then call it good. Because as you can see, there's still water coming off of this, but uh, I got to cook this thing. So let's do it. So it says we need to get the zucchini in here, and spread it around a bit, make sure it's kind of evenly distributed. Yeah, that's still 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 super wet. So I'm sure that'll that'll be fun. Anyway, so it says go ahead and pour this mixture over the zucchini. So we're going to do that. Okay, 
obviously we need to kind of spread it, spread it out a bit. If you have shredded cheddar that is not freshly shredded, you know, the kind of sprinkly, that stuff isn't going to clump like the, because it has specific uh, items added to it. This is freshly shredded cheddar, so it's going to be a little bit clumpier. All right, so there's that. Then it says that what we're supposed to do is sprinkle over the top the rest of this, as well as the oop dot with pieces of butter. This is a quarter, uh, two tablespoons of butter cut into small pieces. So this butter was supposed to actually go directly on the zucchini. So I failed at that. Again, that's why this is a fun channel, right? Because I'm not a pro. So we're going to take this, I quartered it, and then obviously it's sitting here in the kitchen in the summer, so it's a little warmer than it needs to be to not melt back together. It's part of the problem of prepping before you start recording. Get butter kind of spread around through here. Wouldn't you know it better slippery? Alright, so then we're going to take the cheese, get the cheese kind of spread around here on top. And then one of the other things that we do is it calls, it says optional pork rinds, but those of you that watch this channel know that pork rinds are not optional at this house. Um, a friend of mine just uh, couldn't figure out what gift to get me, and so my wife said, you should just buy him some pork rinds, and so he got me a case of pork rinds. So. That's always a always a win here. Turkey Creek salt and vinegar. Good time. All right. So here's the parmesan. We're going to sprinkle this the same way, kind of over the top, just kind of spread it around a bit. You don't want to get too, you know, chunks too big, but I don't know, I'm not worried about there being a little bit of extra pungent fun every once in a while. All right, and then the pork rinds. This over here get us our nice crunchy topping. Get that out of there. It kind of sticks a little bit because it's got that nice, nice grease patina there. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right, looks good. All right, so we stick this in there, sprinkle the top, blah, 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 35 minutes until bubbly and the edges are nicely brown. So we'll see you then. 35 minutes. So it wasn't browning like I was hoping it would. Um, <laughs> So I left it in a little bit, but now it's starting to turn around the edges, but it's it's not as, uh, I was expecting it to kind of crisp up a little bit more. Maybe that I needed to drain uh, the water a little bit more than I did, because I got impatient. So uh, we're going to let that sit and cool, and uh, we'll try it out in a few minutes. Let's see that. So surprisingly, it's not super runny. There's not a lot of water left in the bottom of the pan. So that's that's a good sign. It's a little bit, it's got a little bit of moistness into it, but it's not crazy. Top has got some crunch to it, probably due to the pork rinds. Um, but it actually like holds up pretty well. It's not soupy, which I, that's what I kind of was afraid of. So. Still really hot. That's good. It doesn't, it's not zucchini, um, and this was yellow zucchini, I will admit that. But it does, it does kind of have some of that squash taste to it. So if you don't like squash, probably not really a thing for you. But it's funny because, because I added so much more onion there's definitely more onion flavor to it, which in my mind is good. If I was to do this again, which I probably will, I mean, if you have lots of zucchini, it's a good thing to use zucchini for. Um, I'd probably add some garlic, because there's obviously no garlic in this. Put a little garlic powder, and maybe even a little bit of spice to it, because it's kind of bland. It's very cheese flavored, um, but 
to me it needs a little bit of zip, a little bit more edge, like maybe even some jalapeno juice would be kind of cool in this, or some cut up jalapenos. You, you could even use, I guess that would be even more like a breakfast casserole. You put some, um, I could see you putting in some ground sausage or something in this. But no, it's it's good. I'm sure that the perception was that we were going to use this as kind of a potato replacement, and it, it because the squash has its own flavor, it definitely doesn't doesn't do a perfect job of that, but it's not bad. So I would say I'd probably give it a seven, six and a half or seven, with the possibility that if you did more to make it more exciting with some spice, um, I could see it being significantly better. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you all later. Have a great day.